in this lesson we work on trigonometric equations. Let's start with some examples. The first one, we need to solve 2 cos x equals the negative of root 3. For 0 degrees less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 360 degrees. So let's write our equation down. Now it's between 0 and and 360 degrees. So in other words we're going to use the circle there, break it up, all stations to central. Zero degrees is our starting point there and working our, our way around 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 and finally back the full circle 360 degrees. Now we've got two cos x, we only want one cos x of course so we need to divide by two and in doing so we get cos x equals the minus of root 3 on 2. Now we have cos and we have a negative, so cos is negative. Well, from our diagram, all and C, that's where cos is positive. So cos will be negative in the other quadrant, so let's give them a tick. Now at this stage, cos x equals minus root 3 on 2. We're just going to write the root 3 on 2, okay? We don't need to write the negative now, because the negative basically, we just helped us to identify which quadrants we we're dealing with. So the root 3 on 2, we do the shift cos, okay, the inverse cos, we end up getting 30 degrees. So in each of those quadrants, we're going to mark in 30 degrees with the horizontal. Now to find x, starting from 0, right around to that point, it's a bit like going to 180, then back 30, isn't it? So x would be 150 degrees there. And our other answer, right around to that point, it's a bit like going to 180 plus another 30, which would be 210 degrees. So there's our two answers, 150 degrees and 210 degrees. Our second example, we're asked to solve tan of 2x minus root 3 is equal to 0, again for x between 0 and 360. A little bit different this one. Let's write down the equation again. Now 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 360. Let's write that down. We're going to change that in a moment because we've got tan 2x. We'll write that down. The minus root 3 goes over, becomes positive root 3 on the other side. Now, because we have 2x, if we think about that, x is in the middle. If we have 2x, it's as if we've doubled it. And that's what we do. We double everything there. So we get 0, but 720 on the end. Okay, 360 doubled is 720. In other words, that means we're looking for answers for two revolutions. Now, again, let's just concentrate on the 360, though. All stations to central, 0 degrees, 90, 180, 270, and then 360. Now, tan 2x, well, it's tan and it's positive. So which quadrants? Certainly the first quadrant and then the t quadrant. So let's give those a tick. They're the uh, two quadrants where tan is positive. So once we've identified which quadrants on the calculator then, root 3, inverse tan, we get 60 degrees. So in those two quadrants, let's mark in the 60 degrees, making sure it's marked in with the horizontal. So tan 2x, we've just taken the inverse tan, so that gets rid of the tan, so therefore we write 2x equals, our first answer, 60 degrees, our next answer will be 180 plus 60, and that's 240 degrees. Now that's for our first revolution. But we want two revolutions, okay? So we need to get another set of answers. The simplest way is to add the 60 degrees onto 360. All right, so that's 420. And our other answer, 240, add that onto 360. 600 degrees. Okay, so at this stage, that's what 2x equals. So to find what 1x equals, we need to divide by 2. So we get x equals, and dividing each of those answers by 2, 30 degrees, 120 degrees, 210 degrees, and finally 300 degrees. And you'll notice that all our answers there do fit within the 0 and the 360 at the start. Excellent.